Our images are two-dimensional, but that doesn't mean we can't give them a sense of depth. This we can do by including different layers of the scene into our image. Let's have a look at the build-up of this image. In this image I have five different layers. The foreground, the in-focus mushrooms, the fern, our out-of-focus supporting subject, the tree creating part of a frame, and the background with circular highlight bokeh. The foreground I added to get more depth. I just took a small piece of moss and placed it in the left corner. In my opinion, this little detail really adds to the whole image. It is these small details that really can lift your image to the next level. Without light, there's no photography. With the play of light and dark, the photographer chooses what to show to the viewer. And in light painting, the photographer has a lot of control over the light. The position of the mushroom is quite important. Not only you have to be able to frame it, you have to be able to create a pleasing composition. The mushroom will be your main subject, but we also want mood, balance, depth and light in our image. We want a clean composition without too much distractions. Not only you have to look at the mushroom itself, the area around it is also very important. You want to be able to create a small scene. Otherwise it will be only that one mushroom in the picture. That can be nice, but we want a little more. You have to look for a nice background and if possible include some secondary objects. The background of the images is as important as the mushrooms themselves. Without a nice background, the images can be nice, but they will be less appealing. Something is missing. You want to tell a story. And if your story is limited to there was a glowing mushroom that was quite pretty, then you missed some opportunities. Try to tell the whole story. Give it a broader context. Give it space and atmosphere. So the background is quite important. But we don't want just any background. Here you see the framing of two small mushrooms. And just by moving the camera a little, you get a very different background. And a different feel to the whole image. For this series, I didn't even go all around the mushrooms. I stayed at one side of them. But still, there's a lot of different background options. All with a different bokeh. Not all these backgrounds are suited for our mushroom light paintings. 